Yep, no bonus stage for us. You lose it, that's it. You die, that's it. But this is a this is a more fun level than Slugium. This one is about like raising liquid levels and stuff. And it's got a great song too. A little bit of an of a quick looper, but I don't mind that. Okay, we should be able to get by pretty good in here. Fortunately, rabbits can breathe underwater. We're gonna collect a lot of rapid fire missiles. You know what? Since I had to earn all this, I'm gonna use it on the boss. I'm gonna use something on the on the boss at the end of here. Oh yeah, those big old underwater mines. Just kind of bouncing along. They're very happy for underwater mines. I should note that. What's so dreamy about these pipes? Is it that we're swimming in purple stuff? Maybe that's it. Okay, I would really like to be able to rapid fire these. Oh, oh, and they sometimes have little baby underwater mines. See kids, when two underwater mines love each other very much, they make a tiny little baby underwater. Ring. All right, we found Devon Shell's fuel reserves, it would seem. Seems like an area of strategic importance. I think we should probably be destroying these fuel tanks rather than bouncing around them and using them as platforms. Hey, more stuff. It's easier to get around here without without uh, liquid than I thought. All right, let's plop in. There we go. That was a nice little detour. Oh, is it actually the way I'm supposed to go though? Whoops. Oh yeah, you can go inside some of the pipes sometimes. That, that makes a certain amount of sense. They're not like Mario pipes, but boy, that was one good looking turtle right there. Okay. Oh yeah, hip hop won't go under the water with you. What are you, hip hop Cedric? Cedric the Owl. All right, drop in. Okay, he's taking care of things above the water. I'm taking care of things below. Here we go, a shield. Feels like a long time since I've had access to something like that. All right, very nice, very nice. Are we raising water levels again or are we just being invincible? Who needs to raise the water level when you have invincibility? Okay, there is a bit of a natural element to this stage. There we go. Water should be rising any second now. Okay, there we go. Get us out of here. Player, C5 me to a higher C level. Here we go. Okay, okay. Shot up a little. Point is to get it high enough to get to the exit, I believe. It's not really a puzzle level. I mean, they have these things around here and just... There we go. I don't see why I needed those. This is a much easier level than Sluggy on, but okay. There we go. We're out of there nice and fine. That's mighty fine, mighty fine. I don't know why I'm saying that. I hate, I hate that phrase, mighty fine. It's because of a lady around here that works at Taco Bell. She's way too perky for somebody who works the drive-thru window at Taco Bell. Though, though she is old, so maybe she just believes in doing her job very well. But it's like, you know what? I didn't ask for that, so... And, like, she's always on, and it kind of gives me anxiety. Oh, well. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, hi. All right. Lift off. We have lift off. We have dead end. No, we don't. We just go up into this corridor right here. I always like Jazz and the snorkel. It's a little bit different, although... For some reason, he has a harpoon gun. I mean, oh, that's just his normal blaster. I forgot that his blaster had kind of a point. It looks like a huge crayon, actually, in practice. But but underwater, it looks like a harpoon gun. You know, I think these turtles are actually on the endangered species list, Jazz. So it would probably actually be good if you did not blast every single one out of existence. You're probably committing an ecological crime of some sort. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hit it. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy to maneuver around things in this level. I never had too much trouble with it. I think it's going to the left. Yeah, finally after Marbleara and Slugion, they, they give you kind of a break. Finally, at last. Okay, so how, how far do we go now? 
Okay, we can get to the exit from here, I believe, but there is more blasting to be done. There we go. Yeah, let's just fill this thing all the way up. Fill this thing all the way up, get all the goodies, little golden diamonds, flecks of amber, whatever those are, and of course, more Gravis game pads. Where would Jazz Jackrabbit be without the Gravis game pad? Jazz Jackrabbit and the Gravis game pad are like peanut butter and jelly. They're like peanut butter and chocolate. They're like chili and milk. No way, scratch that one. Actually, milk with chili is not so bad. People think that sounds like a disgusting combination. It's not really. Oh, wow, good. Wow, in case I take a hit in the first five seconds of the level. There's that to help me out. Anything in here that I need to know about? No, but I do like that you can see through the pipe. That's pretty cool. Okay, anyway, okay, I'm gonna have to get on the other side of that. I saw the, I saw the route to that. Okay, let's see here. Going, going down and around, having ourselves a good old Pee Wee's Playhouse of a time here. All right, I want, yay, there we go. Didn't actually think there were secret passages around here. Can I get down in here? That... Maybe. Maybe with a launcher or something? Launchers can usually help you find... Okay, no. If that one didn't go off, then none of them are going to. Okay, so into the pipe. That's a dead end. Okay, can I actually... Is that actually like a hole I can go in? No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Shouldn't I be able to, like, Mario into the pipe? You would think, but moving on. I'm spending too much time on trinkets that quite, that quite frankly, in the big scheme, don't actually mean anything. So, time to get back in focus. Okay. Can I hit you from here? No. How about from up top? Okay, yeah, I am hitting you. Okay, so... There we go. The key is no bouncies. Yeah, those launcher Launchers are probably the most strictly useful piece of ammunition because they can actually hit things at an angle that you can't reach. We're supposed to go in here, right? Okay, yeah, there we go. Right, right, right. Okay. We're gonna be raising the liquid level in here, no doubt. I think that would probably be the smart... The smart money says we will probably be doing that. Oh no, I was too reckless. I don't have a bird anymore. Not that the bird is so useful when you go underwater. Okay, anything over here? Nope, that's a dead end. All right, into the fuel we go. You need a snorkel so that you can breathe fuel fumes. Everybody knows that. Don't, don't go inside a giant fuel tank without your snorkel. That's just sound advice. Okay, into this, which is nothing. <laughs> There's a lot of nothing in this level. I wish there were I wish there were fewer nothing corridors. There do seem to be a lot of those in here. Hey, hi, how you doing? Since we missed level two, I'm gonna wanna play it. Am I gonna get to? I sure am. Yeah, I feel pretty confident in my ability to beat this level, so. Oh, I could have just gone in from down under here. I took the long way. Seems like I'm... Oh, hey. That's... Okay, Jazz temporarily removes his snorkel when he gets hurt. Got it. That seems... That seems like a bad idea. You're getting all that fuel and chlorine in your eyes, Jazz. What are you doing? Didn't your mom tell you to never go underwater? To not even take your snorkel off underwater for a minute? Not a single solitary... That's just fuel on top of fuel on top of fuel right there. Okay, so where is the real way out of here? Probably right here. No, this is where we came in. Okay, so maybe in here. Okay, I feel... Okay, I feel well and truly stuck now, actually. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something I'm not seeing? Aha, there we go. Get in on top of here. Maybe this is... The presence of enemies is telling me this is the way I ought to be going. Against the flow, upstream. That's how you gotta do it sometimes. You gotta travel upstream. 
You gotta go against the flow sometimes if you want to succeed in life. That's the lesson Jazz Jackrabbit has for us today. And also the lesson is sometimes you go to a dead end and there's a big fat lot of nothing located in it. So, okay. This is not the way to the exit, I don't think. But that's already been incorrect once because, ah, here we go. I think this is the one taking us back to the beginning of the level. Boy, that is a slow trajectory when you're going against the current. Currents are... There we go. Hey, I finally figured it out. Finally figured out how to get that thing from earlier. Boy, that was a big, long, all the way around kind of deal. Okay, we've got launchers. we got launchers. I don't know that they're going to be so useful, but we have them. Let's keep moving in a more rightward direction. But they keep giving us secret passages. They're so tempting. I feel like I've never seen a lot of this. I feel like I've just kind of moved through the level in a very utilitarian fashion. All right, let's go through the let's go through the mesh netting here so that we can see ourselves as we make progress. Be assured that the pipe is something we can travel through. There we go. All right. Into it. Oh, hey. No, don't hit the underwater mine, Jazz. The underwater mine that should explode when you touch it because it is a mine after all. All right, I feel like I'm I feel like I need to pressure myself to move a little faster here time is not on our side so it's time to now that we have basically all the cool things we want it's time to it's time to skip the pleasantries and actually find a route out of here but not in such a reckless way that we are like getting hit or anything i don't want to lose the bonus level again that was a that was a singularly bad feeling in my opinion so down 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 to where the turtles probably Oh no, you're telling me I've got a minute and a half to get out of here? That's what we call in this industry an uh-oh, folks. Okay, so up and around. Yeah, so just missing out on a shoe if I don't do anything else. Okay, that turtle is asleep. Wow, using a sleeping turtle is an obstacle. Never would I have thought this game had it in it to to actually use a stationary enemy as something threatening. Okay, gotta get it at high tide, which is, you know, a lot tougher than it looks considering I don't have rapid fire. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna lose all the time in this level. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to charge through it. I don't actually know if you die for one time in Jazz Jackrabbit. I mean, it's really possible. I think you may just not get any bonuses, though. I feel like that's how it went on easy mode. But I guess we'll see here in 16 seconds. Man, I never, I never thought of that as a possibility. I know, I know this middle one is the way to go. So let's get all these things. Let's get all the toys we can before we die, presumably. No, you don't die. Okay. I thought that was the case. Maybe on harder difficulty ratings, you actually die. But I think in, I think here it just means you don't get, you know, some kind of time bonus. Either way, uh, very generous of the game to behave that way. Now I'm going up here. Okay, it's just a one-up. Anything else that I need to know about? No, let's get out of here and let's do the bonus stage in the boss. Yeah, no time bonus. You don't you don't actually die for losing all the time. Had me scared there like it was a Sonic and Knuckles level that takes nine minutes to clear. 20 gems, 30 some seconds. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Okay, this is the one I've been like talking about and hyping up basically the entire game. So we got to run and find. We got to get past the exit. Okay. There is some extra time around here somewhere, I believe. Okay, I've only got a few seconds to pick up all the gems I need. There is some extra time pretty close to somewhere around here, but I think we might fail this one. Exit, exit, two, one, no! Oh, that hurts. Oh, if only I had been a little less hesitant. 
Oh, well, yeah, this, okay. This is where the game is really starting to show like, hey, you actually get some carrots in this stage. That's interesting. Okay, we haven't actually, we haven't actually activated the boss yet. Oh yeah, it's like a big bird. That's right. So yeah, the big bird comes up and it like hovers around like a, okay, where's the safe spot here? Okay. Okay, I think I can sit here and do this. It has its little, you know, shield and everything. But I think I'm pretty good to just sit here and, yeah, and just fill it full of rapid fire missiles. That's the way you do it. What a weird, what a weird guardian to have guarding your stuff. An owl that lays eggs or like a, it looked like an owl. It looked like some kind of alien owl. Well, away from these terrible planets. The twin battleships are coming. Jazz looks up to see two enormous battleships heading toward him. And once again, a sound channel went out. Great, great programming game. Time for the final clash, which is not really the final clash. It is very like the game ends after episode six, but then the next three episodes are like, I don't know why they included those. Just maybe to have more, more stuff to have. Unclear. What I know is despite that disgusting performance, I'm still the king of episode five. I've taken over fully half the charts. So I'll see you guys next time for episode six, which is like the end of the game, but not really.